Hello. Today we're going to be covering the MQTT settings uh, using the CMTK or Condition Monitoring Toolkit solution from Balif. Uh, here you can see the dashboard of the CMTK. Uh, we're using a Chrome web browser and the IP address of the CMTK device to access the dashboard. Uh, as you can see, the local machine is running, it's logging, and it's connected uh, to our PC. Uh, so the first step uh, is to basically check the uh, the software that you have on your CMTK. So in order to support the MQTT, the software version has to be at least a version 1.1. Okay, so once you check that, now if we go into device settings, uh, you will notice along with the uh, additional uh, settings menus, uh, you will see an MQTT settings menu. Uh, here, uh, you can see that you have a switch uh, that enables or disables the MQTT server on the CMTK device. Uh, right, be right below that, you'll see the username. So the default username is user. And the default password is balof hashtag one. So these are the de default username and password. And then the port where the data can be accessed is 8883, okay? And then below that, uh, you will see the, the subscribe topic. So this is basically the, the order of, of information. So you have CMTK, then you use, use uh, CMTK version one port. Uh, now, you, because the CMTK has four ports, you would have, you would have to specify which port you wanna subscribe to. Uh, one through four, or which port device is connected to. Uh, and then within that data, you have three different messages. One is event data. So this is the, the scheme of that, that provides you with the device uh, device ID number, an event telling you whether a device is connected or disconnected, uh, timestamp, uh, along with the vendor ID or vendor number. Uh, and then below that, you have process data, uh, process data scheme. So you will have basically, you know, depending on what the device is and how it's structured, uh, you will get the process data along with uh, uh, date and time stamp, and then whether or not the information is valid or not. Uh, and then of course the unit, again, uh, everything is based on what the device, what device is connected to it and what variable you're extracting. Uh, so you will basically get the units uh, from that device if they're specified along with the uh, date and time stamp. Okay, now to view uh, what that information looks like, for example, uh, we can go into an event and then we can click on example. And now we can see that, you know, a BCM device is connected, date and time stamp, and then the vendor ID, uh, process data of the BCM or valve condition monitoring sensor is contact temperature, uh, the status bits, and then the vibration value for X, Y, Z axes, uh, date and time stamped, and then whether or not the information is valid or not. Uh, and then if we click on units, the temperature is in degrees Celsius, vibration is in degrees uh, millimeters per second, and then date and time stamp, okay? So that's what basically the MQTT uh, packet would look like, okay? Now, uh, now you can click on save the changes, okay? And then you'll get a message that the configuration has been saved. Uh, the next important thing is, is for you to export the certificate. Okay, so once you make any changes and you save those changes, you wanna export the certificate. So right now we're exporting certificate copy number nine uh, into our downloads folder. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're done with the configuration of the MQTT. Uh, we can go back to our dashboard and uh, continue on. Now, to uh, an example of integration or subscription to the MQTT data, uh, for today we're going to be using Node Red. Uh, so, here we're going to use a command prompt and we're going to launch uh, Node Red. Okay. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here is the version of Node Red. So, at the time of this recording, this was the latest version of the Node Red, so make sure you have the latest version. And then basically to access Node Red, you'll have this IP address. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do next. Uh, we're gonna open up a new tab. We're gonna punch in that IP address, and now we're launching Node Red. 
Sorry about that. Uh, now we're gonna. Now we have a basically a a, a flow, a brand new flow, uh, which is a program in Node Red, uh, and what we're looking for is MQTT. So we're gonna go in the upper left left hand corner. We're gonna search for MQTT, and you'll get two uh, two functions. Uh, one is called MQTT in to subscribe, and then uh, MQTT out is to serve. Uh, so in our case for today, we're going to basically subscribe, okay? And then to make modifications to this function, we're going to double click on it, and now we can go in and change uh, change the, uh, the the function, okay? So now we have by default here, uh, since I've already been playing around with this, we have a function called, you know, we call it just with the IP address, which is the IP address of the CMTK. So this is my default IP address of the CMTK. So I just named it that IP address. Now the topic is going to be CMTK forward slash CMTK V1 forward slash port one forward slash PD process data. Okay, so that's going to be the topic we're subscribing to. Okay, uh, QoS, we're going to leave it as is. Now the output, uh, what we want to do is select the parse JSON object. Okay. Uh, now, the next thing in configuration is that we have to click on the uh, edit button, this little pencil icon, and now we're going to edit our MQTT settings. So here the server IP address is pure IP address, numbers only. Uh, you don't have to include the HTTP colon forward, two forward slashes. Uh, if you do, it's not going to work. Uh, so there's your IP address of the server, and then this is the port that we're subscribing to. Uh, we want to make sure that the box uh, used TLS is checked. Uh, protocol is MQTT version 3.1.1. Uh, and then make sure that the use clean session box is checked as well. Okay. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to configure this TLS communication. So we're going to click on this pencil icon to edit those settings. And what we can do here is we can upload that certificate that we've created in a CMTK. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on upload. Now, you also have an X here to clear the old certificates that are no longer valid. Uh, but if there's none, none loaded, then you can click on the upload button, uh, select the certificate. And now we have the latest certificate uh, attached uh, to this function. We're gonna click on update to save the changes. Under security tab, we're gonna use a username, which is by default, it's user. And then the password is alif hashtag one. Oh, I made a mistake. One, we're going to click on update. Okay, now in the messages, uh, we don't deal with this at all. So we're not going to worry about the messages. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to basically launch this or deploy it. Okay, we're going to deploy the change. So now we are connected, but we don't see the information. So in order for us to see the information or data packet, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to basically use a debug window, okay? We're going to use a debug window, and we're going to just basically connect uh, connect our output. Uh, and when we deploy that, if we look at the debug window, now we can see the, the JSON packet, okay, subscription. Now, you will notice that we are subscribing to this information very quickly, okay? So how do we adjust the cycle time? Well, the cycle time or the update time or refresh rate, whatever you want to call it, uh, that is based on the CMTK settings. So if we go back to the CMTK dashboard and we click on this menu button, uh, we click on the settings and we look at the database settings, we can see that our update time is 50 milliseconds, okay? So if we wanted to change that, we can use this slide bar to change that cycle time, okay? And once we save those changes, then the uh, the cycle time in the node red or whatever uh, subscriber you're using, uh, that will update the cycle time. There's, not, there's no settings uh, in the node red uh, that would basically uh, configure the cycle time other than doing it on the hardware itself. OK, so basically the CMTK is serving that information every 50 milliseconds and the node red is subscribing or listening for that information.
so this is very basic. Uh, you get the you get the packet from the device or specific port. In this case, it's port one, and now you have an option to basically parse that information out into uh, critical data that's important to you. Uh, but we're not going to cover that in today's video. Uh, this basically just covers the basics uh, basics in settings, and then basic integration in Node-RED, for example. 